Hello, I'm going to show you how to port forward applications. Port forwarding is used to allow communications by external hosts with services provided within a private local area network, also known as a LAN. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to port forward XAMP, which uses Apache as the web server. So this tutorial also applies for just Apache as well. Why? do you need to port forward it? The reason why you need to port forward it is because you want other people to view your website, right? Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to open up command prompt. Oh, so you're in here, you want to type in ipconfig and then enter. So you'll want to note down your IPv4 address, this address here, and as well as your default gateway. All right, now open up your web browser, which I have already opened. I'm using Firefox, and you're going to want to type in your default gateway, which is this right here. Yours should be pretty similar to mine. So let's just type that in. Uh, let's just create a new tab here. So mine was 192.168.1.1. Now, this will pop up. You'll be required to enter a username and password. Now, the default username and password for Linksys and Cisco routers are blank for the username and admin for the password. And for the D-Link routers, most of them use admin for username and admin for password. And if you don't have a D-Link, a Linksys, or a Cisco router, you can check out this site. Ta da! Go to defaultpassword.info. And then you have the huge list of all the routers with the default passwords. So go there if uh, you don't, you're not sure what your default password is. All right, now back to here. Let's open it up, put in our username and password. Do, do, do. So now we're inside of a router. So we're going to look for application and gaming. Yours might say port forwarding and applications or gaming or whatever. It'll say something to do with it. And if you can't find it, just look around. And it should somewhat look like this. Now, I already port forwarded uh, my port here, but I will delete it for the sake of this tutorial. I guess I got to unclick it first. And I will, okay, I'll just set it all to zero. Okay, so now it's set to zero. Now you're going to want to open port 80 because 80 is the HTTP port and that allows other, other people from the web to view your website that you're hosting through Apache or XAMPP. So now this is the part where you want to figure out what your internal IP address is. And it's this one right here, this address there. So you're gonna wanna type that in here. And as you can see, I'm using another computer to port forward this other port here. And for protocol, you, you normally want to choose both because TCP, TCP is good and it's, it's relatively uh, safe. And it, the, the transition will always go through it because it does all of its handshaking and all that. And UDP is kind of like the quick and dirty way to get data across. It's, it's a lot faster than TCP, but TCP is more reliable. So you kind of just want to, you just want to pick both. Both is normally good. Then make sure you enable it and then save settings. Great. So now we have the port forwarding set up, but now you want to make sure you have your website tested and working. So we go to, first we want to go to IP Chicken. You don't have to go to IP Chicken. You could something else to find your IP address, but go to IP Chicken and then note this address down. This is your external address, and this is the address you're going to want to send to your friends and buddies who you want them to view your website. 
Now we want to go look for for our. Uh, we want to put something in our website. We are going to go into our computer C and XAMP and HT docs. Now you can see I already have a few things in here. Uh, I created this test one to test this this out. So I'll just delete it and make a new one. So create a new folder in here. Call it test. And this is the root folder. So anything you put in here, you'll just have to put in your external IP address. And then that's it. And then enter. And then you'll get this uh, location with all the directories in here. So let's open up test. Right click in here. Create new. Let's make an HTML document. Let's call it test. Now the tricky thing with this is you have to, let's just put in some basic code. The part with this is you have to make sure you save it as an HTML file, not as a text file. A lot of people uh, mess that up. Now file, save as all files, not, not this one, not text, all files, dot, dot what, dot HTML. Save that. Close this, delete this file because we don't want that one. So now we've got our test HTML file in here. So now we want to test it out. So let's go into our address field here and type in our external IP address 70.78.57.32.1. And then we want to do the forward slash to select our directory. And then we made that test directory. So we'll go and type test. And then test again dot HTML. And then it works. So that's how you set up an Apache web server with port forwarding. And what you want to, here's just a quick tip. With XAMP, you want to make sure the Apache server is running for this to work. If Apache is not running, you will not see this. And another thing is, if you update anything in the php.ini file in, in here, if you go into PHP and you change anything in this file, in this file here, php.ini, you will have to restart Apache for it to set, for the settings to change. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something from it, and goodbye.